everyone. My name is Perm Jos. I am a member of the Institutional Review Board at the Bangkok Hospital Headquarters and a cardiac surgeon at the Bangkok Heart Hospital. I would like to share with you about our community survey results on broad consent in Thailand. This work is a collaboration with Professor Stacy Page at the University of Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Healthcare information is widely collected and is a powerful resource for real-world research. This is a range of level of consent vary from the specific consent to no consent, no consent and specific consent in terms of burden and control. Broad consent is the middle of this range. The World Medical Association adopted this term in 2002 and revised it in 2016 in the Declaration of Taipei. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services HHS, have this term in the final rule in 2018. In this study, we define board consent as a type of consent where participant express his or her general consent that his or her own personal information, including health information and biospecimens, can be used in further research without a new explicit consent from his or her side. The objective of this study were to learn the community perspective on broad consent and to determine the factor influencing permission to use their data and biospecimens for research. We use questionnaire from Professor Page in this article as a tool in our study. The questionnaire comprised of four major parts a total of 49 questions. First, the use of health information. Second, the use of personal identifiable and de-identified information. Third, the use of specimens. And fourth, the demographic information. Each question had five answer choice in Laker scale, ranging from strong disagree disagree, neutral, agree, and strongly agree. We translated them into Thai and had three external content experts review them. The index of consistency IOC was more than 0.6 for all questions. 20 volunteers were participated in the questionnaire clarity and comprehensibility. The combat alpha coefficient was 0.794. Sample size calculation was calculated from Professor Page article. The response option strongly agree and agree were collapsed into one category and strongly disagree and disagree were also collapsed. Proportional differences of these two categories were compared for both the use of health information and biospecimens. Agree category was about 60% of participants respond in both health information and biospecimens. Sample size was calculated from this estimate one proportion formula. Alpha or type 1 error was 0 0.05. Proportion of agreement was 0 0.6. And error D was 0 0.1. Then the number of participants should be at least 93 participants. In this study, we uh, use questionnaire to ask in two community in Bangkok. So we have 214 participants in this study and the questionnaire like we, we told you before comprise of 49 questions 
and this is the two community that we, we use to conduct this study. Our questionnaire answer and analyze with proportional tests and we use a factor that we want to study is gender, education, occupation, income, underlying disease and type of hospital were considered as a factor by the logistic regression analysis. The mean age of this group is 47.2 and 46% of participants were male. This slide shows the education of the participants. We can see that most of the participants have bachelor degree or master degree. And this group median age was 48 years. In terms of occupation, most of them are employed at the current time we study. For income, many of participants not answer this question, but the, the participants who answer this uh, question, they have about uh, 500 to 2,800 US dollar per month income. For this, we many of participants uh, were Thai, and about fifty percent of the participants have some underlying disease. About twenty percent of participants have history of surgery, and many of these participants use public and private hospital for their health care. This is an example of general opinion on research, consent and use of health information. So the first question we ask them about, sometimes medical research cannot be undertaken without using individual identifiable health information and they generally agree in this question. And second, promoting good medical research is an important goal for the community and they will agree with this. The third, I will trust research ethic board to make decisions about when individual consent for use of their identifiable health information for research is necessary and they agree with this and all is significant different between agree and disagree so most of the participants agree with this question the fourth question sometimes getting an individual consent to use identifiable health information for research might be so difficult that it would prevent the research from being done and they agree with this and the, the fifth if consent can only be obtained from some individuals and therefore only some information can be gathered the research results might not be useful and they will agree with this the last one individuals should always be asked it if their de-identified health information can be used for medical research. And they'll agree with this. All of this uh, significant difference between agree and disagree. The participant was asked whether they trust the medical researcher to use their identifiable health information and many of them uh, disagree about 50 percent next uh, this slide uh, asks the participant about the use of identifiable health information without their consent so many of them disagree and about half of them also agree so about half half and this is not, not significant difference between agree and disagree. This is 
logistic regression analysis about the participant will allow the medical researcher to use their identifiable health information without their consent. And the significant factor is the type of hospital. And this is, uh, we put age, gender, education, occupation, income, underlying disease, and type of hospital in the model. And type of hospital is only factor that uh, determine whether they give the uh, medical researcher the identifiable information with or without the consent and the Thai hospital is a, a major factor and private hospital only the, the participant uh, use private hospital only was a significant difference as you can see from this slide the participant who use the private hospital only will allow the medical researcher to use their medical information without their consent more than the public or uh, the participant who use both public and private hospital. This question asks about the participant would always give medical researchers consent to use their identifiable health information for any medical research purpose and many of them agree and this is agree is more than disagree occupation was the only a significant factor influencing the participant to give consent to use identifiable information employees and retired employees tend to agree to give consent for the use of their identifiable health information as you can see from this slide, employee and retired employees will always agree to give medical researchers consent to use their identifiable health information more than disagree. Next, we ask the participant about the use of identified biological specimen for any medical research purpose and they agree more than disagree. This is significant. 64% of participants were comfortable with the researcher using their de-identifiable biological specimen without their consent. And this was significant. This slide shows that only type of hospital influence the use of the identified specimen without consent. Participants who use private or public hospital alone would agree to give consent for the use of their de-identified biospecimens compared to those who use both private and public hospital for their health care. As you can see from this slide, participants who use private or public hospital alone will agree more than disagree. Most participants agreed with the use of their information and specimen for research. However, broad consent was important. With broad consent, patients can permit their personal health data or biospecimen to be used in the future. Investigators who would like to conduct research using this data and or biospecimens must submit their protocols to an institutional review board IRB, for approval before their research can be done. Public Education is also important. This broad consent helps to ensure protection of patients and participants. Occupation and type of hospital were factors influencing decision to give consent. Lastly, uh, this 
in part of my study for fellowship training uh, at the Mediatan Foundation for Ethical Study Govory Fellowship 2018. I would like to thank them for that. Thank you for watching. If you have any question, please email me any question and we will answer as soon as possible. Thank you again. Okay.